dark, but if you listen very, very carefully, you will hopefully eventually be able to hear the sound of a baby hornbill. Now we found that nest with an adult sort of hanging on the side of the branch and you, I mean, it doesn't look like anything there. It doesn't look like there could possibly be hornbills in there. There are at least two youngsters in that slit in the middle of your screen and you can just see where it gets really dark. And what I'm going to do is just play the call and see if I can't induce one of them to call for us again. Let's see. No, what is that? That's no good. Hang on. <laughs> That's a bit odd. There we go. Here we go. There, look, look, look. There we go, and you can hear them. So mum's just gone away to f catch something for them, a caterpillar perhaps. Now this is quite late in the season I would have thought for them to be breeding. Let's just see if we can't see the little beak sticking out. They're supposed to lay, well, September to March, so we're into April already, but sometimes it says a second brood as late as May. So they've had a really good breeding season and there's no, and I would think that this breeding season probably has been very good on account of the good rains that we've had. You'll probably find that this is a second brood. And you can't believe how a hornbill could get into a hole that size. And as I was saying to Craig, of course, if you've ever seen a bird without its feathers, there's really not an enormous amount to them. Right, now just up ahead we've got a squirrel that is alarm calling. So let us leave this hornbill site and see if we can't find what the squirrel is shouting at.